The road to descendantness is... Uh, all right, it doesn't really work as well as enlightenment. Uh, here we go. Let's review how to do the four Deepstone Crypt raid challenges so you can get this title. The first challenge requires everyone in your team to press two of the buttons downstairs in the encounter. This does mean that, yes, you will have to three-cycle this fight. You literally cannot go any faster. This was a bit of a rotation nightmare for some groups, so let's review how to rotate this buff around. Player one is going to grab Operator and wait for the scanner to give them the locations of the buttons. Player one will go downstairs, shoot two of their buttons, and then drop the Operator in the switcher. Player two, which is someone else upstairs, will grab the Operator buff and head downstairs, letting out player one. Player one must come upstairs to the door in order to let player two downstairs. Just keep that in mind if you're wondering why the doors aren't opening. Player two will go downstairs and press the next two buttons, triggering the damage phase. The damage phase happens as normal, with player three grabbing the operator buff after player two drops it in. After you kill two, yes, only two fuses, the cycle starts over again. Keep in mind that if anyone dies downstairs, the challenge will fail, so you do need to be quick to make sure that no one gets barbecued down there. Here is an example. Uh, operator here. Three and one. One and three on light side. Okay. Wait, dark side is one, you one said? One five. Was that sir? Five is, uh, on which one's my five over here? Five over here? is on the five wall. On the, it's on the, the wall, pillar. not the pillar, yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right, sending oh, off. Okay. Hold on. Never mind. Okay, we got it. Operator up. Grab an op. Go, go, go. Well, we don't need to be on the dark side at all anymore. All right, this one is going to be three October and one on light side. Three and one. Uh, I'm dying. Come, come to the door. Come to the door. Oh, frame perfect. What the? Why am I clambering that? Oh, my God. Yeah, it was doing that to me earlier. <laughs> That's so dumb. I was like... All right, get ready. One. Tell me what you get. Three. Somebody grab op. Send an op. No, we'll grab the op. Op sent. Grab I'm it. just gonna shoot the right side. You got it. I'm not gonna, <laughs> gonna wait. No, don't. <laughs> Please wait. <laughs> it's left, it's left. Please, it's left. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's right. <laughs> hey, we did it. Yay. It was taking too long. I started getting impatient. <laughs> the second challenge still has a little bit of confusion behind it, but my team was able to complete it by simply never ejecting an Atrax duplicate. We would just juggle them over and over until the fight ended. Of course, this means that one cycling the boss is going to be really helpful here, but as long as you have the lament and a couple of damage buffs, which you should, then you'll be totally fine. Here's an example of us managing the chaos. Three, two, one, go. Down the uh, I didn't uh, get I much sleep. Never mind, someone pick up. Ah, uh, Merrick, you gotta pick that up. Yeah, it is in there. Damn, sitting down the skinner. Here you go, partner. Right, Yeehaw! Yeehaw, bro. Here we go. I'm gonna totally just take it here. Uh, low, low slide right, Ian. Or left. Uh, Yellow. Shit. Whatever you wanna call it. Hit. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh, I just got it. And what kind of health reverb was that? I just saw that. Eh, sorry, don't worry about it. Scanner's in the thing. I got it. Good scanner. If you, like, I've just started doing two attacks and then a heavy attack. Oh, right side. It's like the yeah, fourth well, People have shit. told me it glitches. Yeah, if you do three and then heavy, it glitches three, the health bar. Oh! <laughs> So okay, then, that, that was uh, fatty. Um, you got the hit. Also, you, got, you should send down eight, some elevators. I got uh, eight seconds. Uh, oh, you Sammy? Or Fitzy, Fitzy, Fitzy. Somebody, somebody hit Fitzy with the so thingy. So, oh, there you go. I got this. Thank you. Oh, that was scary. All right, well, give me your timers. I'm at 20, so. 
Alright, just come over back here. Yeah, I'm coming come, over here. Come over here. Shoot him off of us both right now so we're on equal time. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sweet. This isn't nerve wracking at all. Yeah. Nah. I'm scared now. I'm scared I'm not gonna find it again. <laughs> there, I believe you. I'm like, I'm like paranoid. <laughs> now I'm gonna get off of the. What's the difference you got up? Oh, it's, it's in the back on the floor. Behind you, dude. Yeah. Alright, you should be able to just melt. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. Wee! Wee! Easy. Hey, look, we did it! Let's go! Chances. Double the loot. The third challenge is definitely an actual challenge and also involves heavy rotating of stuff, the buffs. Essentially, everyone has to perform every role in the fight one time. There's a very handy chart online that I've put in the description. Just make sure you read it correctly. Players on the X axis, not the Y. IMO should have been on the Y axis. Just some feedback for the creator, otherwise it's a great chart. If I were to explain this chart, it would be this. Assign everyone a number, one through six. My team also paired people together, one and two, three and four, five and six. You don't technically have to do this, but it just made things a little easier for my group when first learning, so people remembered who they needed to pass to. Players 1, 3, and 5 will start with a buff. You'll drop in a set of nukes, and then you'll need to swap buffs. My team made sure to have the person with the deactive augment drop in first to get their timer rolling, and then the others would follow. Player 1 gives their buff to player 2, 3 gives to 4, and 5 gives to 6. From here, you essentially just go down the line. After the second wave of nukes, player two gives their buff to player three, four gives to five, and six gives to one. Then you just repeat this over and over again until all of the jobs are done. The main thing I think will be an issue for groups, besides people not knowing how to do certain jobs, is the speed at which you transfer these buffs. As soon as both nukes are dunked, you want to start rotating buffs, but not before the nukes are dunked, because the game only recognizes a job as being completed when you dunk both nukes. The time in between nuke 1 and 2 is also a lot faster than in between 2 and 3, so make sure you are on the ball with transferring those buffs. You don't want to be transferring as nukes are coming out. Again, here's an example of us doing part of the challenge. Kill them, Okay, both on right. Both on right. That's the official call out. Where is this overload? I hear him. He's in the middle. Someone take from me, please. Nine. Someone take from me. Oh, oh, I can okay. take from me. Too. Oh, thank you. Oh, which are You said both right, right? Both right. Both right. Okay. All right. Uh, de operators deactivate. That's okay. mine. Dunk it away. Somebody pick it. Got it. Ground that up. I'm, I'm pushing the old scanner. Okay, you do it. Somebody that's me it. next. Yep, that's me. Got it. DRM, this is you. Alright. And now we're on round four, right? Yes. Four. Yeah, this is round four. Yes. Going off the LEDs under the bank spot, this is round four. Cabal war machine on the march. I kick him out of here. Get him out of here. Uh, both on right side. Love it. A bomb there. Oh, oh god, good. that bomb is deep. Here. The bomb is deep. I'm gone. I'm gone. Uh, Plenty of time. Take this from me. Uh, where are you? Right here. Yeah, I got it. Mm. Okay, I got it. Yep. Uh, operator is deactivated. Okay, I'm Bank okay. Ruski. I'll okay. go grab that. That's me. Right. Yes. 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 Presser in. I think the presser is me. It is. Yeah, it's got gonna it. be you. Because oh then I'm gonna be it. banking scanner. There you go. I got scanner. Hog. Right. Perfect. The final challenge, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what it is just yet. I wrote and recorded this video before it actually came out. However, judging by the name of it, which is the core four, I think all four one would have been more clever, although I think they used that one already, kinda. My guess is that you need to destroy and dunk all four nukes at once, which is the strat that a lot of groups already use. If that is the challenge, then I'm not gonna edit this, but if it isn't, then I guess you'll never see this section since I'll edit it out. 
there isn't a whole lot to this one, really. It's just destroy all four legs and four people grab nukes instead of two. The nukes are all deposited at the nodes in the sections where the boss is not currently at. This strat is actually better for more advanced groups since you get an extra damage cycle on the boss, almost guaranteeing that you get a one phase. In case you need an example, here it is, but this one is pretty self-explanatory. After this, assuming you have all of the other triumphs and challenges done, most of which are pretty easy to do, imagine needing a Flawless for the title. Imagine a world where Flawless is no longer required for the title. Wouldn't that be an absolute disgrace? Then you should have the title. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.